uh, Open Studio data integration. What we are going to cover in all of our uh, uh, sessions is Talent is having basically a lot of softwares. Okay, couple of name them as Talent uh, Open Studio data integration, Talent Open Studio for big data, Talent Open Studio for data quality. Talent Open Studio for Master Data Management uh, and many more, yeah. But uh, the core part of Talent is uh, Talent Open Studio for Data Integration, and in short, we will call it TOS, or maybe just Data Integration. Okay, yeah, Data Integration. So basically, Data Integration is uh, the name is given as as the name suggests. Uh, talent basically is very strong in a couple of areas like uh, when you are dealing, when you are interacting with a lot of heterogeneous data, like your sources, one source is... Uh, uh, I, I said when you are dealing with a lot of heterogeneous data, for example, you are having files as your source, as well as you are having database as your source, plus you are having a lot of unstructured okay. data, uh, then you are having okay. XML also as your source. So in those areas, uh, tools like Talent, Informatica, they are really good. And the best thing about okay, okay. Talent is it's open source technology. Though a couple of features of uh, Talent, you need to pay for the license because uh, no business runs free of cost in this world. So, but there are certain extent, but it's a very good tool being open source and, you know, uh, it's a very good uh, data integrator. You can do a lot of practice, but the key challenges realize with talent is since this is not a very old technology, it just got incepted in 2006. Since then, uh, this company has made a lot of progress because uh, the very you know the biggest uh, benefit of talent is first of all it's a open source technology. You don't need to invest a lot with the license. All right. Second thing. Currently, the market pattern, like the data warehousing or business intelligence or the ETL, it is going towards the open source technology. You would have probably heard about uh, a term called big data, right? I'm not sure. Uh, this big data concept is nothing but, you know, a uh, lot of customer, a lot of companies, uh, they do invest a lot in storing the data and, you know, procuring the license of the database like Oracle, Teradata, MySQL and all. Plus, they need to design and develop a lot of business intelligence, uh, you know, a solution as well. And business intelligence people are always expensive to hire. So the overall, you know, expenditure on managing a business intelligence and data warehouse uh, operation these days is getting very expensive. So slowly the world is drifting drifting towards the open source technology where the client can minimize their cost. Talking about talent, talent uh, open studio for data integration uh, is basically if you, I would just want, you know, want to uh, let you know. Uh, so what is the backbone here? What is the basic structure here? I need to have a structure defined for my table in order to pull okay. the data according to the structure, right? So that is like a okay. basic thumb rule with anyone who, any layman who knows about SQL or database, right? Similarly, in ETL and say in talent, if you want to read or if you want to write to any platform, doesn't matter whether it's database or file or, you know, web or XML or whatever, there, there could be anything possible as your source and as well as your target. In order to push the data, there is a terminology uh, which we call as metadata. Anyone familiar with this term, metadata? No. All right. So what do we call in ETL world when we say metadata? Metadata means the, uh, you know, inherent meaning means data about data. Okay. Let's say Okay. Let me give an example. Let's say an employee table, all right? Employee table, let's say consider some couple of columns like employee ID, then department ID, then employee name, uh, then let's say employee salary, okay? In Oracle, okay. when you create a table for employee table, you do define like 
employee ID, I have, let's say, my big integer or integer or number. Then I have my uh, department ID. Let's say it's a uh, Verke. Then I have my uh, salary. Let's say it's a uh, integer or number. Uh, then I have my uh, name. It's a uh, Verke again. Similarly, in talent, when you if you have something ready-made, that is fine. Let's say I want to extract using talent. I want to extract some data from Oracle database. Okay. Then at that moment, if I already have a pre-created table, I can import the metadata. Means okay. I can means I can extract the skeletal. What you know personally, I call the metadata as the skeletal. If you have a skeleton or a structure, then you can give it a shape, isn't it? But if you don't have a skeleton, you can't give it a shape. Anything in this world. Similarly, if you don't know how to read a data, if I'll give you unstructured data, or let's say if I'll give you a data in a notepad without any you know, column delimiter or without any field specified, how do you read that data? In a table, the data looks very structured manner because we make it structural but normally when you work on talent and uh, you know you get to work on a lot of heterogeneous data so that is one terminology metadata so we will when we will enter into talent exercise we will talk about talent architecture and talent individual component how to build job how to run it how to view the data how to do the debugging we will talk this term a lot metadata okay so metadata is nothing but basically uh, in Oracle term, let's say you have a table structure defined somewhere. Similarly in talent, if I want to read anything, whether it's a file, table, unstructured data, XML, doesn't matter. I need to have a metadata defined. Otherwise, I cannot read the data. That is a very basic building step in talent. Okay. Am I clear? Yeah. All right. Okay. Perfect. And uh, all right. One key challenge in talent when we will start building, you know, uh, jobs when we will uh, start building reading, how to read the data, how to write into a data. One of the key challenge we will face is how to define your metadata correctly. How do you know? For example. Uh, go to meeting PDF. Talent is a ETL tool, okay? And ETL stands for, we have already talked about the metadata. Now, ETL stands for extraction, transformation, and loading, okay? Extract, transform, and load. There is a new concept in talent itself, which is called ELT as well. Just the, you know, a modification of ETL, but ETL is quite popular. What does ETL mean? For example, using talent data integration, you have, let's say, one input source as your normal text file, uh, one input as your table, and let's say one as an XML and your customer wants, your client wants that somehow you need to extract these heterogeneous data from different geographical location and you give him a, a common result in somewhere in some table or database. Now, what does Shruti want? Within our practical demo, within the classes which we will cover, I'll show you that uh, talent can, let me give you a very practical example. Talent can handle uh, 10 million. When I'm talking about 10 million, it's uh, almost like, you know, uh, 10 into 10 to the 6, right? So, which is 100 lakhs, 100 lakhs of record. Uh, within, within you know, seconds, within minute, like one or two minutes. And it also depends how many columns you have in your source, of course. But uh, the picture which I'm giving you, the estimation which I'm giving you of two minutes, handling 10 million record is of five column. I have tested it and I have recorded the statistics so many times. So I'm quite optimistic about talent. 
the way it handles the big data but of course when you go to you know real time transaction you go to a lot of you know heavy data uh, there are a lot of other aspects as well like tuning and like a lot of uh, also depends on the infrastructure on which you are working how do the other uh, you know infrastructure like your database like your uh, unique system how do they complement the talent so there are a lot of other factors now talent coming back to talent uh, architecture basically overall i'll tell you most of the etl architecture is same you have to build a job okay you have to build its metadata you have to first make sure that you are able to read your source there is no issue for you to reading the source okay you are receiving a clean data let's say after you are receiving 2000 record from a pipe but you don't know that on let's say in 99 99th record there is a crap data if your metadata is not able to address that issue you will never be able to read the data these sort of things so once your job uh, you know your end to end solution is done you need to read your data you need to transform then you need to drop the data somewhere that is your overall job then we will also study within talent how do you run it how do you run a job in talent how do you debug like one by one if you are debugging a, a you know job you want to see some specific data at certain point of time you want to analyze the data how do you do that in talent and we will also uh, see that uh, though in talent as such there is no scheduling uh, tool available but i have i have also you know tried and did a lot of experiment that how do you kick off the talent job externally how do you schedule the job not going to the talent uh, graphical designer but rather externally we can export the talent job and we can kick off let's say i am building one uh, dependency in my unix script i want to run job 1 then if the job run one successful then only i need to run my job 2 then job 2 is again producing a file which job 3 needs as input like these type of scenarios so that there are there are like a lot of things it's not practically possible to cover each and everything within our you know course session but i have some interesting scenarios which might you know uh, broaden your knowledge which might make you work on talent and explore on talent a lot okay so uh, i'll just like to highlight uh, for example giving an example from oracle if i'll tell you uh, i have uh, employee id employee name and uh, salary like this three record and i want to insert that record but i don't have a table i don't have a structure defined can you insert that data into any table you can insert that data only to the respective structure which fits into your data type and your data characteristics right so basically that is called your metadata so in short we call metadata is data about data so so something that tells you about data something that tells you that how to read your data that is called metadata so we need two things in order to read a source in talent one is metadata second thing is the actual data let's say uh, input file you are having notepad that is the actual file and one more thing that we need is you have to define a structure in order to read that file that is called the metadata does that so coming back to uh, you know quickly we'll wrap up the session i'll tell you what agenda and what areas we are going to cover within talent on um, first uh, uh, on our next session we are going to you know see we are going to make ourselves familiar with uh, the data integration scheme uh, and uh, how do you drag and drop components how do you define uh, uh, metadata how do you read uh, basic we will take up some basic uh, uh, sources like uh, input file comma separated file or maybe uh, a table and uh, i'll try uh, i'll try to you know keep some example of integrating it either with uh, uh, sql loader oracle or maybe mysql they are pretty much similar but we need to have some database installed okay so i'm 